It's 80 series time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, let's have a bit of a sticky beak at the ignition coil. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is 80 series time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one we're going to take a look at the, uh, we're going to have a sticky beak at the ignition coil. But before we do any of that, you know the rules. You know I have to say this because if I don't, not only do I get into trouble from YouTube themselves, but anyone who watches this video, I get into a world of pain. So here we go. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. All right, for the past week or so, I've been letting you guys know that I've been having trouble with the 80 series. It's been a bit hard to start in that. And I've eliminated a few obvious problems. First off, obviously, impedance and resistance in the coils, they match out perfectly, problem's not there. Dizzy, there's no problem with the distributor. Co lead between dizzy and coil, that ohms out correctly. So there's no problem there. Spark plugs are fine. So we're now down to the ignition coil being another problem that we need to address and see if we can eliminate that problem before we look at possibly an issue with the ECU or the EMS, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm going to try and eliminate two fairly obvious problems in this video uh, pretty much off the bat. One, there's possible dirt in both the control loom and the lead running from the coil to the dizzy. Or two, they're loose. Now, that's another possibility too, not a good contact. Now, you can say not a good contact due to also dirt and grit being around it. We're going to try and get rid of that problem in this video. So... Let's head out to the 80 series and have a sticky beak at the ignition coil. Let's get into it. All right, well, here we are out at the 80. I haven't started the car yet this morning either, so we're going to do this. We're going to check all this before I start the car. Okay, so the two things we need to check are the lead between the coil pack the ignition and the dizzy and the electronic control circuitry coming off the battery so we'll check this and then we'll try and get this off now if my memory's right this was a nightmare to get off but first off let's get this plug off just unclips from the back side of the coil let's get in there and have a look make sure there's no dirt or grit or grime in there which there is not it looks fairly clean so that's good the next thing you want to check is the actual plug it's dirty but it's probably not enough to well that looks actually fairly clean okay so we'll put that back on now i've got to try and get this spark coil lead off the problem is i can't remember how to do it it's latched on there hang on let me put the camera down bear with me all right well that wasn't easy that was suctioned on so here's the actual coil plug and uh we'll take a look at this we're looking for any form of grit or dirt there have a look inside it yeah okay it's a bit grubby in there, so I'll go and get a piece of paper towel and we'll try and clean that grit out of there. All right, I want a bit of paper towel. We'll just roll it into a small ball, like a point. And we'll go, we'll, I'm gonna try and get it really small, don't I? Get it in there and try and get out any dirt or grit. See, it's actually a bit dirty in there. Let's have a look at that now. That's a little bit better. All right, so we'll put the coil lead back in there. And remember, it's a very, very tight fit too, so you gotta make sure it's in properly. <clears throat> okay, 
So now, which way has this got to go? That way, is it? Yeah, it is that way, okay. So now we push that down. Okay, so now what we do, make sure that we've got this connected properly. Let's start the engine. Now, if I haven't got it connected properly, I'll know because the motor won't start. Fan off. Turn the radio down. Okay, here we go. That's better. That's a better start. That's a much better start. That is a much better start. Look at that, it just started straight away. It didn't struggle. I'd call that, we fixed the problem. All right, well, there's part one of the ignition system. Part two, uh, we'll take it for a spin shortly and just see whether or not it does cough and splutter. So I'd say that's good. As I said, we'll take it for a spin shortly. But as you saw there, there was a bit of dirt and grit and dust inside the plug from the coil pack to the distributor. So stick around because in part two, we'll take it for a quick spin around the block. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.